Hi guys, it's uh, Ken here from the Ken's Tech Tips website. Got a very exciting unboxing for you here today. I've got the Samsung Galaxy Nexus here, which is the world's first Android 4.0 um, ice cream sandwich uh, mobile device. Uh, so I'm very excited to be showing, uh, to be well unboxing this video, uh, this product here today. Um, I'm going to have a lot more videos on the YouTube channel in the coming days. Um, showing lots of different features of this device, um, but I thought I'd give you a first look at what the device is like. So let's. Um, well, this this is some of the stuff that just comes with it. So you get the obviously you get the battery, the charger. I don't have the full retail version of the full box and stuff, but I'm sure you'll get headphones and so on. But anyway, let's let's go and um, let's go and set set up the device. Um, so you'll notice uh, that. Uh, well, there's a plastic backing here, there's a textured backing, uh, just like on the, this is the back of the Samsung Galaxy S2, it's the same same type of backing um, on this, on the Galaxy Nexus. So, what I'll just do is I'll stick the battery in. The battery here is, um, you can read that, 1,750 milliamp hours. Um, so that's quite, that's quite a large battery, and just slots in right there. Um, it's bigger than the, the Samsung Galaxy S2 is 1,650. Um, so it's, it should get quite a good battery life, hopefully, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Slot in the SIM card, just goes in right there, right next to the 5 megapixel camera. And I'll just replace the back cover. Um, so nothing falls out whilst I'm using it. Push it in. And there we go. Um, so you'll notice the, well, the device is slightly curved. Um, it does have a slightly curved screen, so it does look, it's quite a distinctive look. Uh, what we got at the bottom, we have, um, at the bottom we have a micro USB uh, port. I don't know if that's, whether you can see that on the video, um, but that's where you can charge, uh, charge your phone, connect it to your computer, um, you know, whatever. Uh, connect it to accessories, HDMI, that kind of thing. Um, I think that's a volume, that's a volume rocker there on the left hand side, so anyway, let's Go ahead and turn this phone on, so we'll hold the power button down. So, so this has a uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor. Um, what you notice there, in fact, this is the new startup screen in Android 4.0 Android ice cream sandwich. So it's very colourful, very cool. And there we go, it's starting. So this is the welcome screen. So let's go ahead and set the phone up and then uh, we'll see what it's like. So on English UK, which is uh, that's where I'm based. Um, okay, so it wants me to sign in. Um, just give us a second. Okay. So uh, we're signing in to Google account. So uh, by entering your Google account, it synchronizes all of your email, your calendar, uh, your contacts and so on to your Google account. Um, it keeps that stuff backed up as well. Um, and then when you read stuff on the internet, um, it will synchronize to your phone and so on. Um, so just whilst that's uh, whilst we let that, in fact, that's actually already done. Uh, so let's see. Uh, do we want to back up? Yeah, this is just what I was talking about. So uh, yeah, we want to. Yeah, we want to keep the phone backed up. Um, so so this could take up to five minutes. Um, but whilst whilst we're doing that, we'll just go through some of the other features of the device. So this is HSPA connectivity, so that's a third generation technology. Um, if you're in the US or you're in some other countries, you might be, there might be a version with uh, 4G, which you can get, which has LTE connectivity. Uh, but we've got HSPA Plus in the UK, which is the fastest version in the UK. Uh, so you should be able to get speeds of up to 21 megabits uh, per second. Um, so yeah, we'll use GPS and we'll use Google Location Services. Um, we'll just sign in there. And then that's it, so we're ready to go. So this is uh, essentially the introduction to... Um, this is the introduction to Ice Cream Sandwich. So we've got... Got an analog clock here on the on the front. Um, we can add widgets to the home screen as well. Uh, we've got a Google search box here at the top. Um, we've got applications 
applications menu. So we can swipe through the different applications we've got. If we go to top, we can go to widgets. Um, and then I can add these widgets to my home screen if I want to add certain information. Um, so say I want to add a YouTube widget, just hold it down, just drop it where I want it. And then that adds the YouTube widget onto my home screen. Um, so when I'm flicking through home screens, I can just go go straight there and then to see what's new. Uh, what else? We've got a uh, the phone call to make phone calls. Um, it's quite stylish. This is a new a new design. Um, can got the call logs and everything else that's access from up there. Here we've got uh, that's a phone book. Uh, won't show you my phone book um, messages. So uh, there's messages. Um, I'll show you some of the cool features which are new in Ice Cream Sandwich later on. And uh, we've got a web browser. Um, what's new in Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich? Well, obviously there's the new user interface, which you've already seen. Um, you've got at the bottom of the screen, you notice there are actually three uh, software buttons. So you've got a back button, home button, and um, a multitasking button to switch between applications. Um, so this has changed from the old version of Android. You used to actually have hardware buttons uh, which you actually had to press there they're outside the screen so the fact that now you've got the buttons actually on the screen means that when they're not needed the buttons can hide and you know the buttons disappear and then you can actually use that space uh, for more useful things so perhaps if I open up two applications and then we can sh see how the multitasking works so just open up the camera application um, Angry Birds seems to have downloaded itself for some strange reason which I cannot fathom. Uh, what other? What else have we got? Let's open up the uh, let's open up the news and weather application. Um, so if I'm doing something in Ice Cream Sandwich, I can press the this multitasking button, and I can go through. And you see, actually now I've got a um, I've got a screenshot of the different applications which are running on my screen. Um, I can flick to the right hand side to close that application if I no longer need it or to remove it from the list. So it's quite easy to switch. You can see all the things that are going on and I can just tap. There we go. And then uh, that takes me back. That takes me to the application uh, that I want to go to. One of the things you also notice is um, if you look closely at the text, this is actually using a new font. So this is the Robota font. Um, so this is a new font which is designed for ice cream sandwich. Uh, looks really good as well. And this is the notifications. But I haven't got anything interesting there right now. So uh, let's set up Wi-Fi and then uh, I can show you some of the other cool features of this phone. Turn Wi-Fi on. Oh. So you've got a lot more switches and stuff here now. Uh, so we will log in to the Wi-Fi network. Okay, so very quickly, let's go through some of the features which are new in Ice Cream Sandwich. So obviously, there's a lock screen, so we unlock there, uh, sliding to the right-hand side. Um, so one of the cool features is the voice-to-text mode, uh, which is much improved uh, from what used to be on the old version of Android. So, um, as you notice... There's a there's a microphone button here on the keyboard, so I'll just tap that, and then I can start talking, and I can dictate um, text into the phone. So, hello, this is a test uh, voice to text message. Just want to see how well it works. And then I press done. Facebook. Okay. Um, well, I don't think I said Facebook. I think imagine that bit. Um, but this is, you see that this is actually very, there was a little bit, little bit of lag. Part of that will be due to my internet connection. Um, part of that will be because it takes some time to process the voice. But um, it's actually very, very good, very accurate, uh, very easy to use. Uh, if you go to the camera application. So this has a this has a 5 megapixel camera here in the back with an LED flash and on the front it has a 1.3 megapixel. 
This is the new Canva interface. Um, so you notice there's a slider. Whoops, got my finger over the lens there, but I've got a slider here to zoom in and to zoom out. And here at the bottom, I can choose which mode. So I can go to video, I can go to video mode, um, or I can go to panorama mode as well. So this this will this will do full high definition 1080p recording. Um, as well as 5 megapixel cameras. And the cool thing about panorama mode is if I press and now it puts into ca panorama capture mode and then all I need to do is move the camera around and as you see it just captures just captures it for me. Um, I don't have to manually press the shutter again. So just stop that there. And then I'll just wait for it to stitch it together. So it gives me a quick preview uh, whilst that's happening. And then uh, I can click up here and I can go and have a look at uh, the image. So, didn't have to press any buttons but it's created the panorama um, all by itself, which is quite cool. Um, very quickly, I should show the new settings. Show the new settings page. Um, so you go to uh, the settings here. Um, so this has all been redesigned in Ice Cream Sandwich as well. Um, one of the new features is data usage. So in the UK, quite a lot of us have you know um, limited. Uh, mobile phone contract, so we're only allowed to download a certain month, amount each month. And then what this does is it allows you to, you can look at different periods and look at what applications have been using data, um, how much they've been downloading, um, and then you can set limits as well. So you can set a warning, a level, so, you know, I can go up here, say if you've got a 500 megabyte contract, I'll stick it there and then it'll warn me when I get to 500 megabytes so, so I don't accidentally run up a huge bill.